everyone. I am going to give a quick explanation of the variations for child's pose. Um, so traditionally, for an active child's pose, we would come down um, to sit back towards our heels, sit onto our knees. For some of us, this isn't going to feel good, so I'm going to show some other variations. But for now, we'll start here. And for an actor, we would widen the knees and come to um, bring our chest down towards the ground, stretching the arms out long, pressing the palms into the mat as if we're pressing the mat away from us. And then our forehead either rests on the floor or if the forehead doesn't come all the way down to the floor, no problem. If you want to rest the head on something, you can bring a block or some stacked books if you're at home and don't have a block or, or a folded blanket or towel and you can rest the head there. And what we're looking for is the palms pressing into the mat as if we're pressing the mat away from us, lengthening those sides bodies, finding that big, full breath. If the seat doesn't come all the way down to the feet and you feel like you want something to rest on or it might be more comfortable, you can take a folded blanket or a rolled up towel and put it in between the feet and the seat there. Some people like the feeling of that. And the same thing, just reclining forward. Um, some people like a blanket under the feet. That might be a bit of a big roll under there, but you could do a smaller roll and get the idea. Um, another variation while we're here is to bring the knees close together and take more of a restorative shape. So same thing, all we can use all the same variations of the block under the head or the blanket. Folding forward, this time the arms are at our sides, palms facing up, and folding forward there. So I should say this variation, the more restorative, is more of an overall back opener for me. Everybody is different, so we're going to feel different, um, experience the shapes differently. Um, but for me, that's what's going on there. It's just more of an overall back. For the more active with the knees wide and the arms stretched out long in front of us, it's more of a hip opener in my body, upper body stretch. Um, excuse me, upper back. feels really good in my upper back. So if those aren't working for whatever reason, right? We, we meet ourselves where we are, we find that love and self-compassion. <clears throat> so we can take a seated variation where um, the legs are in front of us bent. We're still offering that same rounded shape to our bodies and bringing the ribs to hug around the heart, very protected, kind of drawing ourselves inward. One thing we could use, if we have a block, we can use a block to stack the head. The arms can come under the legs and just rest on the floor. You can hold one wrist or we can wrap around on the shins. Wherever it's, the arms are most comfortable for you. We're just finding somewhere to, to, to be in this shape. Maybe we widen the feet so the knees can fall in towards each other. We might need to bring the block up higher or maybe we're using something different. We can use a chair. You know, the legs don't have to be bent. We, you know, maybe we have a blanket rolled up under the knees or towel for some support there. And then resting the arms onto the chair, resting the head. We could stack the fists. We could um, rest the elbows and rest the head into the hands. So many variations. Yeah, there's no right or wrong way, unless you're hurting yourself. That would be the wrong way. But finding what works for you always when we're doing our yoga practice. Never forcing yourself, if it's causing pain, back out. So, um, if coming down onto the ground doesn't work for whatever reason, we can also do a child variation seated in the chair. And maybe we tuck the arms under us, rounding forward, just letting that head fall forward. We could also, if we had a table, I don't have a table in here, but we could rest the arms onto a table and allow the head to fall forward there. Yeah, lots of variations. Okay, so I think we're good. That's child's pose explained.